41 more Minecraft things to do when you're bored at home. For whatever reason, when you're stuck at home, the boredom is sure to set in. So today, I've loaded up a bunch more activities, quests, and projects to keep you busy and cure that boredom. And also, if you've heard this one, say it with me, only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed. So, if you enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe. If you want, you can always unsubscribe later. Thanks. So to start off, we're gonna need a bunch of materials. So how about going to the nether? And no, not for just what's there, but actually for building one of these, a piglin trade farm. Trading with piglins is such a great way to get all kinds of different materials, from ender pearls to obsidian, you name it, it's great. And don't worry if you don't have any redstone knowledge, because building one of these is so simple that even I could do it, and that's saying something. Frankly, the hardest part of it might just be trapping the piglin used for it. But if you are looking for a steady stream of piglin for your trades, then how about going to one of these, a Bastion Remnant? Now admittedly, these things do look a little worse for wear, so how about actually refurbishing one of these Bastion Remnants when you conquer it? By sprucing up the place with some of the new wood types that were introduced in the Nether update and really just making it look more like a home, you can make a really cool base out of one of these things. Once you get the piglin out of there, this is a great way to have a ready-made base when you head to the Nether. Although, if you want to make sure that no other hostile mobs start to spawn next to your base and take it over, slabbing the Nether is a great way to get over that. Clearly, light level isn't as much of a problem in the Nether as it is in the overworld, so to stop spawning here, we have to place down half slabs or buttons to get mobs not to be able to spawn. Once once you have all those blocks placed out, then you'll have a completely hostile free nether, which is pretty sweet, and especially helpful if you want to control the nether spawns. Which gives you the perfect opportunity to build an AFK fortress farm. By converting one of the many nether fortress cross sections into one of these, then you're able to net yourself plenty of hard to obtain mob drops, and best of all, you're able to get them in bulk. So whether it's blaze rods for your furnaces, magma cream for your burns, or best yet, wither skulls for your boss fights, this is the best way to get a whole bunch of them. Which means you'll have wither skulls as far as the eye can see. But hey, those aren't doing much good in a chest, so how about putting them into an auto wither killer instead? By setting it up like so underneath the end return portal, you're able to use all of these different minecarts to literally squish the wither dry of its nether star. And best part about it,